What's up guys, it's Labor Day Monday and I'm starting the day early with a little bit of photography down at a place that I've been wanting to photograph here in Calgary for like three years. I tell you guys all the time that if you want to become travel photographers, you just got to go out and shoot. You can't wait until you're somewhere super exotic before you go out and get your gear out and practice and shoot. But I've never been really great at practicing what I preach in that regard. I've never photographed Calgary and Calgary is a very photogenic city. I just haven't put my lens on it because as you guys know, it's always harder to be inspired by your home city. But today I'm finally getting my lens on the city. This is called the Peace Bridge. This place I'm about to show you. This is fairly new, I think five or six years old, and it's a location I've wanted to shoot for ages, ages. So that's what we're gonna do this morning. Looks like the blue light's just coming through, some nice breaks in the clouds. I'm not predicting epic light, but I think it's gonna be really, really beautiful. So we'll stay here and shoot this blue hour, and then we'll stay all the way until sunrise, exploring different compositions and different shots, and just taking a simple thing, this Peace Bridge and the Calgary skyline, and hopefully getting like, three or four really cool images out of it. If you guys have never shot cityscape photography, the biggest piece of advice I can give you is focus on the blue hour. The blue hour is like that shoulder time of day between night and day. It's when the light looks like this. Lights up all blue, it's dusk and dawn. And the biggest mistake I made when I started out shooting photography and cityscapes is I saw these really cool night images of cities and I assumed they were taken at night, like, you know, really at night, when the reality is you have to catch that time of blue hour. Here in Calgary right now, we got about 15 minutes to capture this blue hour. Now what I'm doing with the photo is a little bit different than what I normally do. I've got my 14 millimeter lens on, that's a Rokinon lens, and I usually only use that lens for stars, but I really wanted to open things up. I wanted to really widen the image and I wanted to create a little bit of distortion in the sky because I'm also doing three minute exposures. There's lots of clouds right now. They're kind of moving really slowly. And what I want to do is like make them look like they're pulling away. I want to give those clouds movement and it should look really cool. I hope we'll wait for this three minute exposure to finish and we'll have a look. And it's overexposed. We're gonna try that one more time. Uh, it looks good. It's just overexposed, maybe two minutes. And yes, that looks so good. It looks so cool. You just have like this really nice motion in the clouds just pulling away from the city. It almost looks time warpy. Really cool. Now it's like um, a half an hour until sunrise. I'm just gonna wander around, shoot a bunch of different compositions, hope the light pops off for sunrise. We'll see what happens. So when I go out and photograph one location, like the Peace Bridge, I really have it in my mind to get three images. I want three completely unique images. So the first image was that classic, iconic, you know, the simple, obvious look. And I like to get that shot out of the way first, so I'm not thinking about it as the day goes on. The second shot, I was up on the bridge, shooting kind of a detail, looking straight into the bridge. And then the third image is down here on the waterfront. I'm down on the waterfront, I found a rock that's gonna be my foreground, my anchor. If you're in my Facebook group, Group. We do critiques all the time and one of the things I'm constantly critiquing people in their images about is not having a foreground element, not having an anchor. It's so important, no matter where you are, to have that foreground element like I have this rock. So it looks like the light might pop off, 
Look over behind under the bridge. This is the pre-glow, pre-sunrise glow is just like lighting up these clouds. And it's in the wrong spot right now, but eventually I think it's gonna hit these clouds and we're gonna have a beautiful sunrise down here along the Bow River. So um, I'm gonna continue shooting and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later on. <music> The light just popped off and it's actually still popping off. I could probably still shoot stuff if I really wanted to, but I got my three images, probably got like five or six keepers. That was just so good, ridiculous morning. And a reminder why you should go out and shoot in your hometown because any morning the light can just pop off no matter where you are in the world the light can pop off like that that was so good now the vlog's not over this is a photography channel but it's also travel and lifestyle and i wanted to take you guys with me here in my home city on one of my traditions my labor day traditions that i used to have when i lived here which was labor day football every year calgary the stampeders play our mortal enemy the eskimos in a labor day football game so so i'm meeting up with my best friend drew and we're gonna go do an old school tradition so good to be home. Oh, Don't let him in. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. So my boy Drew and I have made it to the game. Probably gonna get a little bit liquid inside McMahon Stadium and hopefully we win. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. We always win. You know, I don't think I've ever, we've ever lost. No, you're a good luck When Jared. I've been here, yeah. Hello, Mr. Officer, can we cross? Thank you. Oh, no, that's a car. <laughs> that's what we're taking next time we go to a game. That's it guys, we won the Labor Day Classic. Woo! 39 to 18. Eskimo is just the worst. It's just the worst, that's it. I'm calling this a vlog, that's the end of it today. It's been a good day, photography and football, and we won. So, I guess I'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Peace! Keep going.